All right, so now let's continue uh, the other uh, centrality measures. Okay, so the first one that at the entire graph level is called uh, closeness. Uh, so the mathematic definition is that the reciprocal average of the length of the short is short is passed between the node and also all the other nodes in the graph. Okay. Uh, so, but I just want you to remember that closeness captures the feature that uh, if a node has easy access to the huge network, that node will have higher closeness. Okay, so for example, this node can easily access all the other nodes. Okay, so this node will have the highest closeness in this uh, graph. And this node, because uh, also has direct connection to this node. So this node has also relatively higher closeness because they can easily access the other uh, uh, members in this network. So that closeness is really to capture that how easy a node can access to huge network. The next uh, cons matter is called betweenness. Again, the between is the number of times a node act as bridge along the shortest path between two nodes. Uh, but I really want you to remember is that it's really capture that how many times you serve as the connections. Okay, so you serve as a brokerage. Okay, uh, so in this case, you can see the node X is serve as the central contact. Okay, or the brokerage that if all the other nodes on the both side, they want to make connections with each other. They must go through X. Okay, and in this case, X has a very high between these because X is the brokerage in this network. Okay, so between these capture that, that how important you are to serve as a brokerage. Okay, to sum up, so in this, uh, in all those four scenarios, so that we talk about degree, and also depending on the type of the network, it can be in degree and also out degree. Uh, that is how many connections you have around, so how many neighbors you have, immediate neighbors. Between this and also closeness are, are uh, looking at the entire graph, so that the uh, how important you can serve as a brokerage and also how easy you can access the other me other members in your network so in all those following networks x has higher centrality than y according to those different measures so that is a centrality okay so those are the normal centralities and um, there is another very interesting centrality measures so that is called Edging vector centrality. Okay, edging vector centrality is uh, the idea is that so it's a measure that the influence of the node in the network. Okay, uh, so it assigns relative scores to all the nodes. Okay, and also your score is depending on your neighbors. Okay, so if all your neighbors have high scores and you will have a high score. If all your neighbors have low scores, and you will have a low score. OK, so that is the idea of the edge of the centrality. So um, the Google use a very famous um, algorithm that called PageRank. OK, so that had similar ideas of the edging vector centrality. So the score of yourself is determined by your friends. OK, I think this is a very interesting video that. OK, uh, so that is edging vector centrality. Uh, OK, uh, another um, very important measures in network analysis is called connected components. OK, so basically connect components is a subgraph in which that any nodes are connected to each other by those edges. OK, so for example, uh, we have graph like in our examples like this. 
So in this network, in this network, this is a subgraph and this is another subgraph. Okay, so this is considered one connected component, and this is considered another connected component because within the connected component, they are connected with each other, and outside of those connected components, so they don't have connections. Okay, so that is connected component, and in on directed networks, so we, we always simply talk about connected component. And in the directed networks, we have strongly connected component. So that means each node can be reached from very other node by following those direct links. And a weakly connected component, that means you cannot follow each other from every other by its following direct uh, links. So as long as that you can follow each other in either direction. Okay, so that for the weakly connected component, we just lower the threshold defined connections. For the strongly connected component, uh, you must to reach each other following those direct links. Okay, but in the weakly connected component, you don't have to follow the direct links as long as you have connections. Giant components is just refer to those subgraphs that have a lot of members. Okay, so for example, in this example that we have several connected components, but we do see a very uh, big subgraph. You can see in this uh, red uh, subgraph that all the members are connected with each other. So that is what we call it giant connected component. Okay, so let's see uh, how that work in GAFI. So to calculate those cent uh, centrality measures, so we can click network diameter. And now we write, you can see here we are using this undirected graph. So it, we check undirected. So it will calculate the betweenness and also closeness. It will also calculate this one, eccentry uh, centricity, but we will not use that one in this lab. So let's click that. So we have the result for the betweenness and also closeness. Uh, let's also calculate the connected component. So now if we write, uh, we can say we have two connected components, right? So that is that is correct. And finally, let's also calculate the edging vector centrality. So let's write. OK, OK, so you can see that is a result for those edging vector centralities. All right, so now if we go to the data for the nodes, we can see we have the uh, closeness, OK, betweenness, component ID. So that means if they belong to the same connected component, they will have the same ID and also the edging vector centrality. Okay, so now let's try to visualize those values. So first, let's use color partition. And so let's say we want to use connect component ID to show them different colors. So now we can see the, the red one is one connected component and also blue one is another connected component. Okay, and now let's see their size. So first, let's look at the between these. And which one do you think has the highest between these? Of course, it is A, right? Okay, so you can see there's no difference because a node A has the highest between these and all the other nodes have the same between these. Okay, and now let's look at the closeness. So which one do you think have the highest closeness? Okay, the, the answer is A, E, and D. Okay, why D and E have the same closeness? Because A can reach C and B with one single step. D can reach E can reach D with one single step, and also D can reach E with one single step. Okay, and the next, let's look at edging vector centrality. So, which one do you think have the highest edging vector centrality? 
Well, the answer is A. Okay, A has highest atom X centrality because A is the most influential member in this uh, network. And the B and the D have higher centrality than D, uh, C and B, sorry, B and C have higher uh, eigenvector centralities than D and E. That is because B and C have directed connections with A, which is more uh, influential members, so that their values are also higher than D and E. Okay, so those are the um, basic uh, measures at statistics in network.